Hi folks, how you doing? It's James JT at the movies and today's video is me responding to a tag from Magpie Movies. Paul, Geordie Paul over there at Magpie Movies has tagged me and a few other YouTubers in this uh, top 10 tag that's going round. Basically the idea is that you've been given 10 genres of film and you have to say what your favourite film is in each genre so it's going to be a really quick video today and then I'm going to nominate some of my fellow YouTubers to do it to keep the uh, top 10 tag going. So, the first one's horror, and I know the answer to this one straight away, I didn't really have to think about it, because I'd actually recently done a top ten list of my favourite horror films, and my favourite horror film is Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Absolutely love that one, I just think Freddy's brilliant in it, um, as is Heather Langdon Camp as, uh, as Nancy, again, I just think it's a great film, best of the franchise. We've then got animated. So my favourite animated film um, is actually a film from a few years ago. It's one of the DC projects that they did. It's Justice League, The Flashpoint Paradox. And I just think it's absolutely brilliant. The story's great. The animation's fantastic. And I, I just absolutely adore it. My favourite drama film, which is the next category, um, is an absolute heavyweight of the of the genre. It's The Shawshank Redemption. I don't think there's anything more needs to be said about that. What a brilliant film. My favourite comedy film? Well, somebody stop me. It's The Mask. I absolutely adore that film. So much so, uh, I did a recent video on this for uh, a, a contest over at Mondo Chilovic Movies. Uh, when I was in school, I bought this prop replica. That's how much I love this film. My favourite action film, okay, I'm cheating a little bit with this one, it's an action thriller, um, but since thriller wasn't an option, I thought, well, it kind of fits into that, because there's lots of uh, lots, lots of you know action pieces in it, lots of chases and things like that, and it is 1993's The Fugitive, starring my favourite actor, Harrison Ford. Absolutely love this film, and the game of cat and mouse between him and Tommy Lee Jones, who's playing the US Marshal Gerard, that's chasing him after uh, Harrison Ford's accused of murdering his wife, just so good. Love it. Absolutely love it. The next one was a really easy pick for me. It's westerns. So I'm not really that big on my westerns, and there's only really a handful that I've I've watched, and it's something that I've been sort of watching more of in recent years. But anyway, the choice was really obvious for me with this one. It's Unforgiven, starring Clint Eastwood. Just such a fantastic film. It really, really is up there with like the good, the bad, and the ugly, and uh, Pale Rider and Josie Wales. It's just just absolutely quintessential. The next one is your favourite romantic movie. So again, I gave this one a bit of thought. A bit like Geordie Paul, it's not really a genre that I'm that big on, but I don't mind rom-coms or you know films that have got sort of like a, a you know a, a love story at the at the centre of them. Um, but when I, when I gave this some thought, I think the film for me that sticks out is Love Actually, which is a bit of a Christmas film as well. But I really do think that film is really sweet. And finally, the last film genre is adventure. Well, if you know me, uh, I'm sure you'll probably be able to guess this there because there's almost a little shrine to the film just right there and then the posters are up there. But it's Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, which I think is probably my favourite film of all time as well. I absolutely adore it. The adventure is just top-notch in that film. Harrison Ford is bringing his best game as Indiana Jones. Sean Connery's fantastic as his dad, Henry Senior. And just the villains, the supporting cast, the locations, the story, it's all just fantastic. I absolutely love it. For me, that's a near-perfect movie. So there we are, folks. That's been my top 10 tag. And thanks very much, Paul, for uh, nominating me to do it. It's uh, been a good bit of fun. I won't plan on doing a video this week until the contest draw at the weekend. But when I saw that come through, I thought, oh, yeah, go on, then I'll uh, I'll have a go at that. So I'm going to nominate a few people to have a go as well. Now, you don't have to have a go. It's all just a bit of fun. But if you want to have a go, uh, then nominate some more people and keep it going. So... I'm going to nominate Carl over at Carlinio9 to have a go. And apologies if anybody's already been nominated elsewhere. I've, I've not seen all the videos going, so I've just nominated people that weren't nominated on uh, on Paul's previous video. So yeah, Carl at Carlinio9. Um, Jeff over at 101 Bronson. We've got John over at Mondo Chilovic. 
I've got uh, Danny at uh, Girl and a Movie, and I've got Tony at Sinister Arts and Movies, and then as well, I'm going to ask my co-collaborator over at Lost in His Own Museum, Phil Graham, to uh, have a go, because he was saying to me the other day, he really does want to get back into making some YouTube videos, and has just been looking for a jumping off point. So there you are, Phil, that's my challenge to you, mate, crack on, and everybody else as well. Thanks very much for watching folks, if you've liked the video leave us a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below with your own top 10 and if you're not already subscribed please think about doing so. Take care of yourselves and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Cheers.